And I showed uh, Congressman Paul the front page of the Drudge Report this morning, uh, which could be interpreted. This is at an eye level when you uh, log on to the Drudge Report. It has a picture of Mike Huckabee, and it provides a link to his campaign commercial, which talks about Christ and Christmas and shows a cross in the back yard, in the background. And then right below that, they have Ron Paul, a direct quote from you, when fascism comes, it will be wrapped in a flag and carrying a cross. Now, the message that you're supposed to take from that uh, story is that you're calling Mike Huckabee a fascist. Uh, that wasn't the intent of what you said, right? I mean, walk us through this process again, because I guarantee you that is the intent that is going to be derived from that uh, story on Drudge this morning. Well, obviously that is a false interpretation because he didn't quote it correctly because, you know, when they asked me to comment on the ad, uh, my immediate thought for some reason came across with uh, Sinclair Lewis, who, who talked about people who wrap themselves in flags. So it was Sinclair Lewis that made the uh, comment many years ago that when fascism comes, watch out for super patriotism. He says uh, uh, it will be wrapped in a, fascism will be wrapped in the flag and carrying a cross. So it'll be a holier than thou motive. And we do have a lot of Christians who yeah. have rejected the uh, uh, Christian just war theory and feel compelled to go to war. And, uh, and I've heard that on the stage by all the candidates. And also, economically speaking, this country is moving rapidly toward fascism. Not of the type of, but most people think it's probably a bad term because most people think of fascism Jack as Jack boots being, and Nazis. Yeah, and they think of, uh, of Italy and Nazi Germany, but there's soft fascism. And fascism is corporatism yeah. to its extreme. And Mises, the great free yeah. market economist, predicted that's what would happen to America, and I agree with him. We're not going to end up with uh, socialism of the old-fashioned type, like in medicine today. We don't have free market medicine. We don't have government medicine, but we have corporate medicine. Mm -hmm. That is fascism in the economic sense. So when people talk about going to war for holy reasons and, and having medical care run by corporations, this is a form of fascism. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is what uh, Sinclair Lewis was talking about. Watch out for the people who, uh, who will promote world war for holy reasons and at the same time uh, be patriotic. See, I've been, I've been accused of being very unpatriotic and not caring for the troops because of my very sincere position that you shouldn't go to war without declaring war. So I, I think, quite frankly, that's, this is a very patriotic position, and uh, yet we are being challenged. So you should watch people who do overextend either, you know, even in my statement of faith, you know, I talk about not carrying my religious values on my sleeve. And I think there's a point where you can over, overdo it and overdo uh, uh, patriotism. Johnson, Samuel Johnson said, patriotism is the last uh, refuge of a scoundrel. Mm -hmm. And we, we hear a lot about how patriotic uh, people are and how they accuse people who disagree with them. And if you're not willing to go to war, that we are construed as being unpatriotic. And I think that's what uh, uh, Sinclair Lewis is talking about, and those were the thoughts that were in my mind. had nothing to do with a personal attack. I never used his name or anything else. Uh, it was just brought up in context, uh, and I was given a very short time to answer, and I th thank yes. you for allowing right. me to answer it.